looking awfully choppy. Beware, monster! King Trent girls over these seas! Not anymore! I won't let you harm her! Ha! Captain, we've got her back, or she'll pull us under! Look out! The shell! You fool! You witch! Not so fast! It's a shell! Stop there, sea snake! Talking. No matter, I have what I want now, and you don't. You may have my father's trident, but you'll never have his power. Impertinent mermaid, I'll dispatch you just as easily as I eliminated your mother. So father was right. Yes, father was right. And you'll soon see just how insignificant the merfolk become when Ursula's in charge. With the trident in hand, I shall unleash the power Poseidon to destroy you all. Yes, thank you for your help. Not such a guppy anymore, am I? Nope, you're the best friends a girl could wish for. Ariel! Daddy! I've caused so much trouble. Can you ever forgive me? Why, I've never been prouder. <laughs> Somehow, in the blink of an eye, my back was turned, you grew up. You love him very much, don't you? You belong to his world now. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Just remember, when you hear the surf roar and the tingle of salt in the air, it's just your father checking on his little girl. Ariel! Who are you? I am King Triton, and you are the one who came to her rescue. With all due respect, sir, Ariel's the one who did all the rescuing. The king of the sea? And she is his daughter? Does that upset you? Heavens no. I'm just relieved she's royalty. At last, your majesty, I found someone who makes me eager to seize my future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to the sea sometimes, I hope she'll be right there beside me. May I have her hand? Ariel can speak for herself. She can? What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Oh, Ariel, it's been your voice all along. <laughs> 